And that's a sure sign of fatigue when a fighter bends at the waist, as Michael Gale is tending to do in this seventh. Kozlowski has nothing, has not done anything spectacular in this contest up to this point, but uh, he's been very solid on a slip there from Gale in Kozlowski's corner, although a body shot did catch him. feeling these body shots now and one wondered at this stage how far he could go and that was a little bump and Kozlowski barely got the energy to pick himself off the floor so he's feeling the pace as well but that's a good round for Kozlowski so with seven gone I had them dead level Three apiece and one even. And Mickey Duff there trying to convince Michael Gale he's doing okay. Of course, some fighters respond to positive uh, comments. Others, if you say anything negative to them, it can completely deflate them. Which is often why you hear a lot of corner men actually saying, you're doing great, son, you're winning. He's a mile behind. And in fact, it's completely the opposite. In some ways, the only way to keep a fighter in with a chance. Ten seconds, Carlos. Bit of kidology there. About eight. With five rounds to go, it looked at the sink possibility that Michael Gale just wouldn't have the energy to get through them. Kozlowski getting stronger. Neglected the uh, piercing jab that he was using in the earlier rounds, but uh, starts to pick it up again here in the eighth. felt that Michael Gale could probably make super middle without too many problems. And of course, his stable mate, Henry Wharton, the reigning British and Commonwealth super middleweight champion, of course, due to face Nigel Benn for the WBC championship, I think sometime in February. from Gale and a frustration more than anything I would imagine it was only the pure heart of Gale that was keeping him in this one at this stage This is probably the uh, 
least effective round we'd had from either boxer. Michael Gale not to punch it with any real authority. And Kozlowski looking a little bit disorganised. So that looked like a pretty level round. So three rounds each and two even after eight. Four to go. And Gale may just have uh, been on the verge of approaching his second wind. And like uh, a lot of athletes, boxers are not immune from getting a second wind and it uh, works absolute wonders when it does occur. The question was, would it come in time for Michael Gale? So into round nine then. Brent Kozlowski from Calgary in Alberta, in Canada against Leeds Michael Gale and of course this Commonwealth Championship seen as a stepping stone to greater things looking very tired in the ninth. Kozlovsky's tired as well. But he's strong and he's still throwing punches. And suddenly Gale tries to back the Canadian up. By this stage, it could have just come down to who wanted it more. Of course, Michael Gale would have loved to have brought this title back to Leeds. Another Yorkshireman, Tom Collins, if my memory serves me right, was the last Commonwealth light heavyweight champion from Leeds. And Gale starting to sink in these thumping body shots and uh, hooks to the head. And that's the first time that Gale has succumbed to those down on one knee. And the towel came floating in, but referee Van kicked it out again and decided to stop the contest to a, jubil a jubilant. Brent Kozlowski becomes the new Commonwealth Light Heavyweight Champion with a ninth round stoppage over the very game but uh, ultimately outgunned Michael Gale. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, with Michael Gale um, able to continue the referee soccer contest after two minutes and six seconds of the ninth round, the winner and new light heavyweight champion of the Commonwealth, Brent Kozlowski. So Brent Kozlowski then officially declared the new Commonwealth light heavyweight champion. That was a good fight from him, which would earn him a 22 ranking with the IWBR. We'll take a short break back with more action.